Behold, anti-Pope Francis, the most public heretic in the history of the world, one of the most evil men in the history of the world, making the likes of Stalin, Mao, and Hitler seem like small-time, petty neighborhood thugs in comparison. For Francis is leading millions upon tens of millions upon hundreds of millions of souls to eternal hell. Be not deceived by his false gospel. Be not deceived by his sugary words and his false humility. If you follow this man, you will end up in hell. One cannot simultaneously follow Francis and practice actual Catholicism. The two are mutually exclusive. To the extent that anyone in the Novus Ordo Antichurch is saved, it's because they're not following Francis. It's because they're defying Francis somehow. But the likelihood of their defiance diminishes the longer they stay yoked with anti-Pope Francis and the Novus Ordo anti-Church he leads. Actual Catholics before the Judas Council, before Vatican II, would not recognize this man as a Catholic. And there's nothing virtuous about recognizing him as a Catholic. Many timid souls speak of the dangers of not following a Pope, but they don't speak of the dangers about following a false Pope. And those who have eyes to see and ears to hear know that by following this man, you are not following the true gospel of Christ. You are not following the vicar of Christ. It's no accident that this man has renounced the title of vicar of Christ. Just think about that. Did you ever dream that you would live in a time of a man whom the world sees as a pope, who claims to be a pope, and yet who has renounced the title of vicar of Christ? That alone tells you what you need to know about this man. And so I urge you, if you seek to be an actual Catholic, if you seek to follow actual Catholicism, you cannot follow this man. Again, his attack on the actual Catholic Mass is not an accident. Just think about that. Did you ever dream that a man claiming to be Pope would attack the actual Roman rite? And yet this attack, this diabolical attack, has been met with mere murmurs from those few today who still embrace actual Catholicism. We've become desensitized to all of the things these papal pretenders since Vatican II have done and said. We need to resensitize. We need to rediscover a sense of holy horror about what these men have said and done. For example, what John Paul II did at the 1986 Assisi event. Blasphemy. Utterly scandalous what he did at Assisi not to mention all of the other things he said and did, beginning with his first encyclical, preaching the heresy of universalism, and thus leading millions to hell. We must resensitize. This bovine, brutal age has desensitized us to every kind of horror, and yet so many profess horror at all of these school shootings. But these pale in comparison to the horror of what these papal pretenders have done by leading millions upon tens of millions upon hundreds of millions of souls to hell. <laughs>